Moving on to Syria now, with new atrocities reported every day, a message appeared today outside U.N. headquarters in New York. Three billboards on trucks asked why, after 500,000 deaths in the Civil War, nothing's been done to stop it. War planes are pounding a rebel-held town outside Damascus, with more than 400 civilians killed in five days. Charlie Daggett checked in on a family we've been following in Ghouta. In the merciless bombardment of eastern Ghouta, nowhere is safe. Missiles rain down on the neighborhood. Of 10 year old Noor and 8 year old Allah, who tweeted their plight to the world. The children are in danger of being murdered. Save the children of Ghouta before it's too late. Today, it was almost too late. An explosion blew out their windows, sending shrapnel and glass through their home, slashing Allah's forehead. We reached their mother, Shamza Khatib, an English teacher, after the blast. How are your daughters doing right now? Are they okay? Uh, yeah, okay. But uh, they are afraid of war planes. They are under the blanket. She told us she feels like her family and neighbors have been abandoned. The world just watching what is happening in Butawai. The Syrian regime and its Russian backers insist this week's assault is aimed at rebels. But with a civilian death toll in the hundreds, many of the victims are children. A sobbing father couldn't bring himself to let go. The State Department has condemned the bombing, Jeff, but the U.S. military has been focused on fighting ISIS in a different part of the country, while the Russians continue to prop up the Syrian regime. Charlie Daggett, thank you very much.